Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about the only way to make a woman fall in love with you. Okay, so before I get into this one way that um, a woman can fall in love with you and it's pretty much the only way a woman can fall in love with you I need to talk to you about attraction first because if a woman isn't attracted to you and doesn't feel that way about you from the get-go then no amount of you doing anything right, even if you did all the right things, is going to make her fall in love with you, okay, because some women, you know, just, you know, it's like, it's like with you, for example, right, there are some women that you're really, really attracted to, and there's other women that you just sort of see as your sister, and you wouldn't really give them the time of day, right, we all have this sort of like navigation system inside of us as to who we are attracted to, and who you're attracted to, your best mate would look at, may look at this woman and be like, oh, well, why do you like her? Because basically our attraction is very unique to us, and who we're attracted to is very unique to us, okay? And it's the same with women, right? So if a woman just doesn't feel that way about you, you shouldn't take it personally, because maybe her best friend would think that you're the, the, you're the bee's knees, and you're the hottest thing since, you know, hotcakes, basically, I don't know, right? So, so don't take it personally if a woman isn't attracted to you because most of the time it's just preference. It's just a personal preference. She just doesn't feel that way about you, right? And it's okay because you've also had experiences like that too where you've, you know, seen a woman that you would never give the time of day to and other women who you would give the time of day to. So, you know, and there may be nothing wrong with the other women. They may just not be your type and that's fine, right? So you've got to allow that. You've got to allow the rejections to happen and not get butthurt and upset and resentful and angry about it, right? Because it's just a reality. Like a lot of women you come into contact with who you really like are just not going to like you. And just like there's a lot of women that you're going to get in, come into contact with that you're not going to like, right? And there may be some of those women that like you. And it's always kind of annoying when someone uh, you really don't like and see as like a sister or you're just really not attracted to starts to fancy you. It's, you know, and it's really annoying when that kind of thing happens. Um, but that's how women feel too. If you start crushing on a woman that really likes, that, that you really like but doesn't like you. Right? And you won't leave her alone. She's going to get annoyed. She's going to get frustrated. And you're only going to make the situation worse. Right? So it's always better to focus then on those women that are enthusiastic about you, that are interested in you. And these are the ways that you can make these women, right, fall in love with you and want to be your boyfriend. Because sometimes they want to be a boyfriend and girlfriend with you. Right? So sometimes you can meet a woman who actually initially to begin with really really likes you and then sometimes if you've got you, you let's say your dating um skills aren't really up to par your communication skills aren't really up to par you become desperate and needy you can put off a woman who really really likes you right so you don't want to do that because that can make you feel really really bad inside right because I, I, I remember occasions like that where i would really like a woman she would really like me too and then my needy and insecure behavior would push her away right, and I, all I had to do was just play a little bit more cool, right, so that goes into then the only way to make a woman fall in love with you, right, so what you do in this situation is when you start dating a woman, you just give her a lot of space, okay, you're not, and what I mean by that is, is that you're not constantly contacting her, blowing up her phone, messaging her all the time, phoning her up, right, let her be you know, let her do chasing, let her do some of the chasing, in fact, let her do most of the chasing, right, how you should do it is this, right, and this is something I learned from Corey Wayne, is that when you, um, who's another dating coach on this, on, on YouTube, you may have come across him, I really, I, I, I highly recommend that you go and check out Coach Corey Wayne, right, so what Co Corey Wayne says is that initially, you should be asking a woman out once a week that you like, so let's say you, you, you go, you, you're on a dating app, and you, uh, match with a woman, right, you start having a little chit chat, right, limited chit chat, right, so they say, they say you've, you've, you've sent like three or four messages back and forth to each other, so you, you know that she's interested, right, and then you say something like, hey, it'd be really great to meet up with you, I'd really love to get to know you better in person, um, when are you available, right, and then she's like, okay, yeah, I'm available this Saturday, and you're like, great, how about we meet at this time, at this place, at this time, right, 
And she's like, yeah, that's great. So you meet up on that date, let's say it goes quite well, you get to know each other, uh, maybe there's a little bit of hand-holding, or maybe nothing really escalates to anything physical, but you can tell that she really likes you, and you really like her. What you then do is then you wait a while after that date, a few days, and then you ask her out again. And your aim is, to begin with, basically, this is the aim, this is the point, you aim to ask her out just once a week. You send her a message asking her out, saying, hey, I really enjoyed our last date, when are you available to go on another one? When are you next free? Right? And then she'll be like, yeah, I had a good time too. Yeah, I'm free. Um, I'm free Saturday again. And you're like, great. Let's meet up again on Saturday. Let's meet at this time. Let's go to a different place this time. Let's go to this place if you'd like to. And she's like, yeah, that sounds really good. Right? And then you do this for just a couple of dates. Right? Because if she really likes you, after just like one or two dates of doing this, where you just ask her out once a week and you do not do you do minimal messaging in between unless she reaches out to you first, because it's always okay if, let's say, you've been on a date and she messages you a couple of hours later, that's great. You can always reciprocate the message and say, yeah, I had a great time too, whatever it may be that she's done. She may send you something that, for example, you talked about on the date. You can always respond to it. Always respond to a woman's messages, basically, right? But when you've responded to those messages, then try and facilitate and arrange another date with her, right? That's the whole point. You sort of rinse, recycle, repeat that kind of kind of thing, right? So you do that, right? You do that. Um, you, usually, if she really likes you, you only need to do that a couple of times. And then she starts reaching out to you more. Because it might be the case that you start dating a woman, right? And you ask her out once a week, two or three times. And she has yet to initiate a conversation with you. She, you're the one that's always basically pursuing, as in you're the one that's offering the, the, the invitation to go out with her, right? And this is what you, you only have to do this in the beginning, right? Just a couple of times, maybe maybe three, maybe two or three times, okay? Maybe even one time if she really likes you, okay? And when she starts reaching out to you more, as in she's initiating the conversation, so she's, she's saying, hey, how are you? How's your day? Or good morning, you know, those kinds of things then you can start hanging out with her more. Because what's going on is now she's starting to fall in love with you. How can you tell a woman is starting to fall in love with you? She's starting to reach out to you more, right? Because she's cottoned on, basically, that you're only asking her out once a week and you're only seeing each other once a week. But because she's starting to fall in love with you, she wants to start seeing you more. So what she does is she starts reaching out to you more, right? And when I started to learn this technique... This is what really worked for me. This is how I got my wife, right? This is how I started that relationship. And how my story went was this. So we, me and my wife, we matched on Tinder, right? We sent a few messages on Tinder. I asked for her Facebook information because I wanted to find out if, um, you know, she was actually a real person or not because she was so beautiful. So I was like, oh my God, I need to know if this is not a catfish. So I did, right? And I just discovered she was a real person because she'd been tagged in things by her friends and family and things like that. There was plenty of photos of her that was backdated until like 2011 or something like that, right? Um, so, um, so, so I knew she was a real person. Then I messaged her on Facebook and said, and, you know, carried on the conversation basically that we was having on Tinder. And within like that same evening, I'd arranged a date with her. I said, right. I said, basically said something like, hey, how about we meet up on the weekend? She was like, yeah, sounds really good. And I was like, cool. Which day are you free? Free Saturday, Sunday? She said, oh, I'm free on Saturday. I was like, great. How about we meet here at this time at this place? She was like, yeah, that's really cool. And that's what happened. Right. And then I didn't message her again until the until after that first date. Right. So we had that first date. And then I think it was about five days after the first date, I messaged her again to ask her out again. Uh, she agreed. We met up again for another date. And then after that, she started to reach out to me more and we started to hang out more. We started to spend the weekends together. I and mean, then it got to a point where we'd spend the weekends together and we'd see each other a day in the week as well, right? Because she was now reaching out to me more. So therefore, I was facilitating more opportunities for us to hang out and to have um, a date. Um, so we was like hanging out all the time. And then after about six months of doing that, of seeing each other, um, on the weekend, spending the whole weekend together, basically having those sleepovers. And then, um, on a day on, um, an evening in the weekend as well, during the week, sorry. Um, and then after about six months, we started living together. Right. And this is how things unfold. If you give your woman that space to, you know, just asking them out initially just once a week 
and go out on a date with her and then she starts reaching out to you more and then you can start hanging out with her more because she's reaching out to you more so you can keep on saying hey uh, when are you free to hang out? And she'll be like, oh yeah, I'm actually free tonight. You're like, great, let's hang out there. So that's how you do it. That's how you get a woman to fall in love. You get them to fall in love with you by giving them lots of space to feel how they feel about you. By like giving them lots of space to discover how they feel about you rather than you always messaging them because you're worried about where you stand with them. Now, when I first met my wife, I was extremely attracted to her. I really, really wanted her. It took, it was so hard for me to hold back to not message her every day, right? Because I knew, I knew that I that I wanted to give her time for her feelings to develop inside of her rather than me trying to force things by messaging her a lot, by becoming too familiar, okay? So that's how you can make a woman fall in love with you, especially initially, right? You just give her that time and you give her that space. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.